Hello friends, something that I have pretty much only recently have discovered the beauty of is that if you just for example want to test the waters with a certain musical instrument or even with a certain microphone, a, fa a fancy microphone or be it all kinds of these things, let's say I decide I want to start playing the bass or the drums, something you can do is that you don't have to immediately go and buy it but you can rent out musical instruments. and. Some of you, of course, already know it, but I wanna give you a couple of tips that for me made my experience so much better and hopefully that would be helpful for you and that could be the difference whether this would be a tool that you would actually use along your musical journeys or not. The first thing that I want to tell you is indeed, for example, why you would want to use it. So let's say that, for example, you decided you want to start also checking out the bass guitar. You feel attracted to it and you wanna check it out. What you can do is usually is you would go and buy a beginner's bass guitar. The problem is that beginner's instruments very often are just not very fun to play. You know, the action is very high, the sound is not that great, it's just not very fun to play, the setup, etc. So something that you can do to get a feeling of the real instrument is usually for a fraction of the price you can get a much more expensive instrument in your hand in the same day and you don't even have to think too much about what will happen if I won't like it and then I will need to sell it for far less, etc. So this is something that I have done here in Austin and the biggest tip that I can give you, first of all, is that do your homework very, very well on Google. Very, very well. Because here, for example, there are a bunch of companies that do such rentals, but only one of them has a price which is literally about a fifth of what you would pay anywhere else. So do it, do it well, because for example, the prices that, that I have paid here, just to give you an example why I am so excited about this option and I'm going to keep using that, is that I've got this whole awesome drum set here for $40 per month. And this is, you know, a great Gretsch drum kit. And I was just about to just buy a beginner's drum kit to start testing the waters. I was interested in a drum set and, you know, even a beginner's set is somewhere along the lines of 500 bucks. But now I can test out the waters with a great set that probably would cost a lot more than 500 bucks. And then as it happened to me, I decided that, yeah, I want to keep going into it. So, all right, after the short term, I will indeed buy a great set. Another example is that I got this bass right here for $20. I got this keyboard right here also for, I think $20 or $25 per month as well, just because I needed a keyboard. I was thinking whether I should get a ukulele for a couple of productions, but I wasn't feeling like going and spending a hundred or 150 bucks on a good ukulele, but for $10 per month, it's a no brainer. So this is the first tip, just do your homework really, really well. And sometimes you can get the best deals just by calling, for example, small neighborhood shops and asking them if they do it and if they will give it to you. The second super important tip that I want to give you is that once you come to this store, let's say you agreed on getting a certain thing for whatever the price is, they will give you the instrument. Check out the instrument. If you don't connect with it, if you don't like the looks or the feel or whatever, it's very likely that they have a bunch of other instruments, either for the same price or for a little more of an upgrade. That's what happened to me here. And I just asked them and they showed me all the other options they have and then I got for example, instead of getting a really ugly guitar that I didn't connect with at all, I got this one, which I am just very happy with and also looks great on the wall. So it just adds inspiration to the place. So remember, ask. If you will ask, very often you can get what you want. So this is it. Just a little tip that hopefully can be very useful for you on your musical journeys. Just remember, do your homework very, very well in terms of the prices that you can get in your city and also make sure that you get the specific instrument that you want. Have a great time and also please share with us in your city what are the prices, where you, what are some good deals for you, some experience that you've had with renting out instruments, good experience, bad experience, let us know. Have a great time, goodbye.